Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I got a package today. I partially unpacked it, so this is just an empty box. And in it came multiple other packages. Uh, I'm gonna unpack them, uh, assemble it, and test it. So stay tuned. These are all the parts unpacked and the most important thing is this one, it's the microscope. Uh, it comes with a, a lens and it comes with a mouse and it comes with an HDMI cable and it comes with this which is a power supply. Uh, unfortunately this is not the type of power uh, connector we use in the Netherlands, uh, but it says um, input 240 volts and output 5 volts DC at 2 amps. Um, I'm just going to use another uh, wall adapter to uh, use this USB cable and uh, plug it in. Now, I also bought um, a few items for a stand, There's some very heavy duty steel pieces, uh, a mount piece, which something just came off, uh, I'll fix it, um, and some other adjustment stuff. So these are all the parts I need. So this is my current setup. On the left you can see an HDMI screen connected to an HDMI microscope. Um, also on the right there is uh, just Windows running with OBS and uh, the microscope also goes into an HDMI capture card so I can record the output of the microscope. Let's get in a little bit closer. So the microscope uh, on the top has four connections, uh, one's for the HDMI. Uh, there are two USB ports, one's for the mouse, uh, I haven't figured out what the other one's for. Uh, and this is the power supply, which is a 5 volt power supply. I've bought the microscope uh, with a 180 times lens and uh, it consists of two parts, the upper part and the bottom part. And the bottom part you can adjust the zoom and on the stand as well. You can adjust a little bit the height, uh, which also adjusts the focus if you're in uh, a manual mode. So this is back at the bench. Um, this is the ruler I got the other day in the mail. And just for comparison, this is about how far I can get. And my iPhone, because I'm recording through an iPhone, uh, still focuses. Um, let's have a look underneath the microscope. So this is at its minimum zoom. You can see uh, 0805, 0603, etc. resistors or capacitors or whatever. And uh, I have to be really careful not to move it just a little bit because it moves all over the place when I do this. Um, and 
And if I zoom in, the autofocus works great. Um, this is not even halfway. I can go further. Let's see. But then it's quite difficult to get it to focus. But it does eventually. And just to compare, this is the tip of my tweezers. Let's bring it in. There we go. Something else I noticed. If you look just with the naked eye, uh, they look very fine. And if you go in and zoom, the tips don't touch. And it's quite dirty. There's a, a hair or something on there. There it is. Still some flux left over on the twip, tip of the tweezers. So now I'm going to try and solder a 0805 package, then a 0603 and a 0402. And I'm just going to use the microscope. I can do 0805 and 0603 just with the naked eye. Um, I sometimes succeed in doing that for 0402, but I'm just going to use the microscope to see how easy it is to solder through a microscope when there's actually no depth of field. So for just doing a bit of practice soldering, I'm going to use this SMD soldering practice kit. Uh, it goes from 1206, 805, all the way down to 0402. I'm just going to try uh, an 0603 and an 0402 because I know I can do 1206 and 0805 by hand just by looking at the board. Um, 0603, still doable. Uh, 0402, not so much. So I'm gonna try um, 0603 first. I'm using some uh, blue tack, which actually in the Netherlands is, is white tack, just to fix the board to the surface. First, let's find some empty pads. Just gonna do R34, just move it over to the center a bit. And I found that it's pretty easy to keep focus when I just select manual focus when it's focused, um, it will just stay there without giving me any sort of trouble. So let's first uh, apply some flux to one of the pads. Uh, which one is it? R34. That's a bit much, but it'll work. Come on. There we go. There we go. And add some solder. Grab a part. Um, what did I say it was? 0603, which is one of these. So this is something that happens a lot, that my tweezers are a bit dirty, so the, the part just sticks to the tweezers when I let go. That's also maybe due to the flux. Um, I have to turn the board around because I'm right-handed and this is not very handy for me to do. So now I have to find where I was. Oh, other side of the board. Uh, oh, there we are. Let's keep it there. Let's see if I can. So there we go. I'm just gonna heat the pad together with the solder and just slide it in. There we go. That's a bit off to one side, but I think this will make a good connection. I 
have to turn the board around again. Find where I was. Stick it down. And just solder the other pad. You can see how dirty my solder iron actually is. There we go. So that's quite doable. Um, let's move down to an 0402 part, which are all the way over to the right, over there. I'm just gonna stick it down to the surface of the microscope, or actually the microscope stand. And again, do autofocus, which just brings it a bit more into focus. Going to set it to manual focus again and do the same thing first. Some flux. I actually have a better idea. I'm just going to do this part, this side first. That's a lot of flux. Oh, that worked. Because then I don't have to turn around the board twice, I just have to turn it around once. Um, let's tin it first. we go and I'll grab a 402 part first let me clean my tweezers because this is it's very annoying when the parts stick to your tweezer so this is an 0402 resistor it's gonna bring it all the way down it's gonna slide it in A bit. I'm not sure whether it's flush to the board, so I'm just gonna just gonna touch the top of the resistor and push it down. Just quickly reheat the pad again. Oops! I think I destroyed this resistor. I don't know. Will that still work? I know it's just about soldering at the moment, not components itself or PCB. Let's turn it around, find the resistor. Where is it? There. Oh, that's the wrong one. There it is. All I have to do is do the other side. I'm gonna touch the pad. Bring in some solder. Actually, this is still pretty thick solder. This is 0.3 millimeters, which as you can see, is almost as big as the whole pad. So maybe I'm better off using some finer solder for this work. Let's see what it looks like from the side. I have to put on autofocus again. And just tilt the board a bit. And it starts focusing. And... Well, actually that's pretty crap. Well, the right one Looks okay. The left one's just one blab of solder. It looks like a mountain. So my opinion about this Eakins microscope, it's great. It's even better than advertised. Do you need it? No, you don't. You can do fine without. Do I want it? I do want it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.